Welcome, welcome, welcome to another video from my bedroom. I'm sure you all heard the news about OpenAI releasing their new model GPT-40, where O stands for Omni. I don't know why, but this thing definitely brought us one step closer to a scary AI world. The text processing of this one isn't very different to the last one, but this one is optimized to understand images and audio files even better than the previous one. And as you might know, about a year ago I uploaded a video how to create a trading bot in Python step by step in under 15 minutes. If you haven't checked that video, I would highly recommend you to do so. But in this video, we are slightly gonna change the way we analyze and trade our cryptocurrencies or our stocks, thanks to the new model GPT-40 released by OpenAI. And just to show you what I mean by that, I opened a past conversation with ChatGPT here, with the new model of course, and I gave it a screenshot of the Bitcoin price chart. As you can see, this is literally just a screenshot that I took from TradingView and pasted it into this chat. And I just asked it to analyze this chart and it said, sure, I can help analyze the chart. Here's an analysis based on the visible elements. And as you can see, it did a pretty good job analyzing the data. It even took the moving averages into consideration, analyzed the price relative to the moving averages, the trend analysis, support and resistance, potential implications and recommendations. And all in all, it's a pretty good analysis of the chart. So I ask myself, could I not automate this process and, for example, send myself an email with this type of analysis every single hour or every single minute? Of course there's a way. And now I'm going to show you how you can do that very easily and very quickly with the programming language Python. So before we lose more time, let's dive straight into the code editor. And by the way, everything you see here is linked down below in the GitHub repository, so you can just take this and you're good to go. So for this video I prepared a little python file called main.py as always and I would say let's just start at the top of the file so you can understand what I did here. The very first thing we have to do is to define a variable that holds the path to our Chrome driver. And this Chrome driver you probably have to install because I had to install it too, it wasn't already on my system so I'm gonna show you how to do that if you're on a macOS machine. Unfortunately, I'm not a Windows user so you have to figure it out how to install it on Windows. The only thing you have to do is brew install, I think I already have the command, yes. Brew install Chrome driver then dash dash cask and when you press enter it's gonna install it for you so as you can see I already installed it but after installing it you can check where it is stored by doing which chrome driver and as you can see it's saved under this path the only thing we have to do is just to take this path and paste it into this variable as I already did and go with the next steps Basically these are just some config variables so you don't have to pay too much attention to that. Here we initialize the service and the driver and then the interesting part starts. As you can see in the try block here we are getting the trading view site of the Bitcoin chart by just calling driver.get to tradingview.com slash chart and then slash the symbol that we want to analyze and in our case it's bitcoin in us dollars what it then does is it waits 10 seconds so the page can load first and instantly gets the chart container which is this part of the page like everything you see in this box here where the chart is visualized we get that with this command after that we specify the path where the screenshot should be stored at which in this case is just going to be here in the root folder of this project with the name bitcoinchart.png. The only thing we have to do now is to call this screenshot function, which is a part of this chart element here, and pass the screenshot path as the only parameter. And then we just close the driver and the screenshot is successfully made. So the next step is to analyze the screenshot with GPT-40. And the way we do that is by calling this analyze.chart function. Actually, I just noticed for structure's sake, it makes much more sense to put this line of code up here. Because this single line of code here is responsible for analyzing the screenshot with GPT-40. 
And the way we do that is we have a file here called gpt4o.py and in here we have the following two functions. The relevant part is analyze chart. The only thing we have to do here is to pass the chart path, which would be just Bitcoin chart.png because it's already in the root folder and let this function do the rest for us. Basically, it just sends the image to ChatGPT and gets the response back. So after calling the function, our response is going to be in this GPT response variable. So the only thing we have to do is to specify from which email address to the other we want to send the response to. And this is basically done in this section here. Just specify who sends the email, who receives it. Then we enter the password of the Gmail account. Of course, I'm not going to do that because it's my actual Gmail account. And then we just assemble the message with subject from to. Here we put the GPT response into the message. And then just as an extra, I attach the screenshot itself to the message too. And then we send the email in this code block by calling server.sendMessage with the message. And that's basically it. But instead of just hearing it from me, Let's see it in action. Before doing that, actually, I have to create a so-called app password for this, which you can do in your Gmail account, which is only mandatory if you use a Gmail account for this. So basically you have to go to your Gmail account settings and search for app passwords. Press this one and you have to create a password here and then it shows you a password that you can copy and just paste into this variable here. So of course you see the password that I'm using now but don't try to hack me I'm gonna delete it after the video anyways. So after pasting the password in here we can just call python3 main.py so this may take a second or two but after a few seconds you can see it says screenshot saved as bitcoin chart png and email sent successfully. To see if that's actually the case, let's go to our inbox and see if anything arrived. Let me refresh this. And as we can see, it actually did arrive. And if we open it, we can see that the subject is Bitcoin chart analysis 2.20 a.m. on May 23rd, which is today. And this is the same subject you can see here that we configured, uh, which takes the current date time, of course. And as you can see, it asked ChatGPT for an analysis and outputted this entire text here. So we can go through it. Uh, it says the chart shows a daily price action of Bitcoin against the US dollar on the Bitstamp exchange, which is just some exchange that you can specify. The chart spans from approximately September 23 to May 24. So from that we can see it took a screenshot from the it took a screenshot in the daily resolution so it so it basically shows the entire year. And then Bitcoin experienced a significant upward trend around late November 23 with prices climbing up or climbing from roughly 32,000 to a peak of around 75,000 by mid March 24 which was around uh, 2 months ago. After peaking, the price saw some volatility and consolidation between 60,000 and 75,000. Support lines, resistance lines or resistance areas, uh, volume patterns, um, significant volume spikes aligned with major price movements, and so on and so forth. And as you can see in this example, we actually analyzed the daily patterns. But as you can imagine, you can use any time frame or any length or any time span to analyze it and even tell ChatGPT how to analyze it. So that means with this model, the sky is the limit and just try out your own ideas. And let me know in the comment section if you used my code to achieve it. And don't forget to like and subscribe. You guys are the only reason I can keep doing this. So hopefully with your support in the future, I will do even crazier videos about trading bots, finance, trading in general, and so on and so forth. And I really hope to see you in the next video. And you can also check my Patreon page, which is also linked in the description below. In there, I give you my latest resources to the trading bots I use personally. So I'm literally giving you access to the bots I'm using in my free time with thousands of dollars so you can basically win together with me for a lunch price. So don't miss out on that one. I hope to see you in the next video and peace out.